Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And you're seeing this, all right? So, and, I, I, and you're already familiar with it. Okay, so what is this? This is basically the truth table for the full subtractor. And what is this? So, this will be playing together and you will know what it is. So, today's topic is to design a full subtractor. Full subtractor. Using a 1 cross 8 D multiplexer. All right. So this can cover your 1 cross 8 D multiplexer also. We'll not be drawing the inside circuitry of it. That you have an idea from the 1 cross 2 and 1 cross 4 D multiplexer. We drew the inside circuitry. And this will not be drawing that. We'll be uh, understanding the full subtractor. All right. So this is your full subtractor uh, truth table. And uh, so now we start, okay? So we see for the min terms, all right? Uh, so let's say we have these min terms. I name them. We have M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, and M7, all right? So now we see which one of them are high. So for the difference, for the difference, we have a summation of min term. Which one? 1, 2, 1, 2, uh, 4 and 7. 4 and 7. And for the borrow output, we have, we have which one of them high? 1, 2, 3 and 7. 1, 2, 3 and 7. All right, these are the min term that are high for, for this, okay? Now you know from here. Now we come to the demultiplexer spot. So we have over here n is equal to 8, which means the number of outputs is 8. So m would be what? m is equal to log to the base 2 of n. So which implies m in this case would be 3, which means the number of select lines would be 3, and they are mentioned over here as S2, S1, and S0. Now you, again, you know from the basics that when... Uh, when it's all zeros, the select lines are zeros, so, so the input would be directed to the very first output, why not, okay? Then if you have S0 as 1 and the rest 0, so it would be Y1. And similarly, for 0, 1, 0, we will have Y2. For uh, 0, 1, 1, we would have Y3. For 1, 0, 0, we have Y4. For 1, 0, 1, it's representing Y5. For 1, 1, 0, it represents Y6. And finally, the 111 represents 7, which means the input would be transmitted to the Y7 output. Now, all of the rest would be zero, so you fill them up, okay, directly. All right, so this is about the table now for the demultiplexer, okay? Now, what do we do? Uh, we, we, draw, we draw the demultiplexer, okay? We do, not, we do not draw the inside circuitry of the 1 cross 8 demultiplexer. What do you say? Should I draw it or not? Oh, let's say we draw it, okay? So, uh, so where should I draw it? What part of it should I remove? So, so you've written it down so I can remove any part of it, all right? So for, for why not, or I don't draw it, okay, because then it would be uh, a little, uh, it will take space. I, I will write down the equations, okay, I'll write down the equations for all of them. Uh, y not is what? Uh, it would be S2 complement, S1 complement, S0 complement, okay. Then you have Y1 is S2 complement. S1 complement S0, Y2 is uh, Y2 is S2 complement, S1 S0 complement. Then Y3 would be S2 complement, S1 S0. Y4 would be S2 S1 complement, S0 complement. Y5 would be S2 S1 complement, S0. Y6 would be S2, S1, S0 complement. And finally, Y7 would be uh, S2, S1, and S0. 
So you can draw it yourselves, all right? You take the uh, AND gates, you require one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight AND gates. You require three input, eight AND gates, and you give it to them, all right? And, uh, and if you want me to draw it, so I will draw it over here, okay? All right, so here it is, okay? I have drawn it over here for you guys. It took a little time. And therefore, I wasn't drawing it in the video. I paused the video and I draw it. So to save a little time, you can pause the video and check, okay, with yours, all right? And one thing I made a mistake, I didn't mention the input I over here, okay? So we have the I also in each of them. So that's the full subtractors uh, diagram, and I believe it is clear, okay? This is basically the diagram for 1 cross 8 demultiplexer. It's not for the full subtractor, okay? For the full subtractor, I'm drawing it over there, okay? So for that, I need to remove this part of it. I hope you have done it, okay? Is this done? All right. So now I remove uh, this part of it. Okay, and what do I need over here is a full subtractor like this. Now this is a 1 to 8 demultiplexer. Now the 1 to 8 demultiplexer that I've written inside, it has this circuitry, all right? And the input is coming from here. This is the input I. And over here we have three select lines, S2, S1, and S0. All right, so I remove the, the difference and the borrow. So for difference, we had a summation of min terms one. Uh, for borrow output, we had the summation of min terms one. So let me check them, okay? One, two, four, seven, one, two, three, seven, okay? one two four seven and for that we have one two three and seven all right now what do you do we or them together we take the output from this demultiplexer okay and we 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 do we do what we or them together so one two four seven uh so wait a minute let me draw y one y two y three Y4, Y5, Y6, and Y7, all right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And I missed Y0. Okay, so which means I will have to, okay, do it over. I will manage it over here. Y0 and Y1, okay? So this is your Y0, and this is your Y1. Now for, 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 the, for the difference, you have one, two, four, and seven. So you take one from here, you take two from here, you take four from here, and you take seven from here. And you do what? You give them to an OR gate. And over here you have the difference, all right? Now for, for the borrow, you need to have one, two, three, and seven. So you take uh, this one from here again. All right, then you take this two. Then you take this three. And also this seven. And you or them together. And now over here you have the output bar, all right? So I could have also done it over here, okay? So if you want to do it over here directly, so let's say I remove, I, I just shorten it a little. This is your I. All right, so what do you do for the, for the difference? For the difference you take one, two, four, and seven. So uh, let's say this is the OR gate. This is representing the, uh, the difference. You give it the one, y1, 
y2, y4, and y7. All right, and then you have for the borrow. So let's say this is the OR gate for borrow output. You give it a one. You give it a two. You give it a three. And you give it a seven. So now this is what? This we have made the full subtractor using the one cross eight D multiplexer. That's all about this lecture. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.